Prince Jeffrey Bokia, the big spending brother of a Sultan of Brunei, has lived a lavish life filled with collections of yachts, five-star hotels, and over 2,000 luxury vehicles. Prince Jeffrey can reportedly spend 50 million a month with no problem. He and his brother are known to travel with a 100-member entourage and completely empty out stores like Armani and Versace on extravagant shopping trips. The prince even went so far as to pay Michael Jackson millions of dollars to perform at a birthday party. Here are all of Prince Jeffrey's most lavish purchases and how they landed him in a $14 billion legal battle. With tons of money to throw around, the Prince of Brunei has built a reputation for being extremely extravagant. He's part of one of the richest royal families in the world, after all. The Crown of Brunei has an estimated net worth of between 30 and 40 billion dollars. And while most of the responsibility and fortune go straight to the Sultan, Prince Jeffrey has had no problem using his family's riches to live the good life. When it comes to lavish places to stay, when the prince travels the world, it isn't enough to just rent a nice room in a hotel. Instead, the prince bought himself five of them. Prince Jeffrey's collection of five-star hotels is definitely impressive and gives him no shortage of options when it comes to suites. His collection includes the historic Dorchester in London, the romantic and opulent Hotel Plaza Athenia in Paris, and the incredibly expensive New York Palace, which has a $25,000 a night jewel suite, by the way. He also owns two of the nicest hotels in all of Los Angeles, the famous Hotel Bel Air and the Beverly Hills Hotel. As for personal homes, the prince has many, but there's one that seems to be his favorite. It's St. John's Lodge in London. And when he bought the property for $55 million in 1994, it was the most expensive private home in all of the UK. The property is known for its famous sprawling gardens. This seems to be the prince's more private home, but he's also a fan of so-called party properties like this $37.5 million mansion he used to own in Las Vegas. The massive home has 18 bedrooms and 27 baths, over 11 acres of land, and a 12-car garage. Beyond homes and hotels, the prince also owns 250 different companies, including Asprey, the luxury London jeweler that provides the British monarchy with their jewels. He paid about $385 million for the company back in 1995. Prince Jeffrey is also known for being a bit of a playboy, and he made it official when he spent $34 million for the former Playboy Club at 45 Park Lane in London. He paid more than four times the market price for the iconic venue because he just had to have it. In 1965, the Playboy Club was the most successful casino in the world, and now it's one of London's most luxurious hotels. If you think the amount the prince is willing to pay for a club is a bit excessive, then just wait until you hear about his car collection. It's not just worth millions, it's worth billions and it's made up of over 2,300 vehicles. The collection includes multiple Bentleys, Ferraris, and Rolls Royces. Some of the most famous and expensive cars in his collection include the Bugatti EB110, valued at $1 million, a Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR Roadster in dark silver, worth an estimated $5 million, a Porsche 550 Spider that sold for a record-setting $6.1 million, and two jet black McLaren F1s, which can sell today for as much as $14.5 million each. But despite their worth, the prince apparently leaves these cars to rot in he and his brother's gigantic car lot. According to one collector who got to see inside the garage, billions of dollars worth of luxury cars are kept in sweltering heat, and some seem to have been forgotten about entirely. He even reported that some steering wheels were melting off. Perhaps the prince doesn't pay too much close attention to his car collection because he's busy with other types of transport. The prince reportedly has nine personal planes that he can use whenever he wants. These include a private Boeing 747. It's a customized model worth an estimated $400 million. And it's the companion plane to the Sultan's opulent gold-accented private jet. Prince Jeffrey also owns a Sikorsky helicopter worth $1 million, plus an Airbus jet worth $108 million. The prince even has a fleet of five boats, which includes a 50-foot yacht with a, um, strange name. The yacht was custom built for the prince by the Netherland company Feedship and reportedly features 24 karat gold fittings, tons of marble, and elevators connecting the multiple decks. It even comes with two small boats used to ferry people to and from the luxury ship. The prince also seems to enjoy throwing money around to own unique and strange things. His strangely named yacht is only the tip of the iceberg. 
He also owns opulent things like a rug woven with jewels in threads of solid gold, worth an astonishing $7 million. But perhaps what's most impressive is the amount of money he's willing to pay people for services. He once paid $1.5 million for a badminton coach to be flown out to Brunei and help him with his game. He also once imported Joe Montana and Herschel Walker to help teach his son football. Taking advantage of their professional skills reportedly cost the prince seven figures each. But the most extravagant? Prince Jeffrey once paid $17 million for Michael Jackson to perform at his brother's 50th birthday party. It took place at a stadium custom built for the event at the Azure Palace residence, which features 1,788 rooms and covers about 49 acres. But obviously, it was Michael Jackson who was the star of the whole event. So how did Prince Jeffrey get so rich that he could hire the one and only Michael Jackson for a birthday party? Well, most of Prince Jeffrey's money comes from dipping into his brother's $30 billion net worth. But the prince also has done some of his own work. He served as the chairman of the Brunei Investment Agency, which invests much of the country's wealth and is responsible for overseas investments. His biggest investments while with the agency include the Empire Hotel, built at a cost of $1.1 billion, and the Jurdong Park, the largest and most expensive amusement park in Southeast Asia, for $1 billion. The prince also served as the agency's finance minister from the mid-1980s to the mid-1990s. But that's when things started to go downhill. While in the position, he was charged with stealing $14.8 billion from Brunei. The prince hoped to pin the crimes on his two lawyers by claiming he never signed his own checks and that others were in charge of his finances. Instead, he ended up being sued by them for $23 million. bucks. Following negotiations, an undisclosed settlement was reached in 2000. Though Prince Jeffrey claimed that the Sultan assured him he could keep a few of his properties to maintain his lifestyle. But he didn't get to keep that much. In 2000, the prince returned more than 500 properties, 2,000 cars, 100 paintings, 5 boats, and 9 aircrafts to Brunei, and much of his property was auctioned off. At one point, he was even forced to surrender five diamonds, worth $200 million, to the Brunei Investment Agency. So, the Playboy Prince may not be quite as well off as he was before, but he hasn't been kicked out of the royal family, so he still has access to billions. Now, he's kept more of a low profile since the government fallout, but it's probably not the end of Prince Jeffrey's lavish lifestyle. Being a prince comes with the need to look royal and dignified. So we'll leave you with one last extravagant fact. Prince Jeffrey and the Sultan reportedly spend, get this, $20,000 each on a single haircut. Oh, you heard that right. They fly from Brunei to London to see their favorite barber at a cost of $12,000 per flight. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video on the extravagant lifestyle of Prince Jeffrey, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps us out here so much. And definitely subscribe so you can catch our next upload right here on The Richest.